Some of the stories are mind twisting. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 hidden treasures rumored to be somewhere in the United States. The old caretakers used to say all, all, the, all the time people were jumping the fence, going over there, digging around, metal detector. If so, someone who finds a tree with an X carved into it might just hit the jackpot. But past cave explorers and former owners have found several other artifacts. For this list, we'll be looking at the most elusive treasures that are supposedly buried in the U.S. Although friendship is the greatest treasure of all, we will only be looking at treasures that consist of precious jewels, metal, or money. Have you ever gone treasure hunting? If you have, be sure to share your experience in the comments below. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Jesse James's Loot, Cement, Oklahoma. Jesse James is one of the most famous outlaws in history, but he apparently left behind more than tall tales. The hunt for his lost treasure, believed to be worth millions in the form of gold, has been going on for decades. Jesse's brother Frank searched the rocky formation of Buzzard's Roost and rode around the Kichai Hills following the mysterious carved clues left behind by Jesse. Over here is another place where Jesse carved his initials. Right here, is the two J's are facing each other, and J, uh, Jesse James used to carve his initials both ways. Thousands of treasure seekers from all over the world have followed in Frank's footsteps in hopes of finding the hidden loot. While other artifacts from Jesse James's adventures have been discovered around Buzzard's Roost and the Kichai Hills, his treasure has yet to be found. Artifacts such as a kettle have been found in the area, leading treasure hunters and locals to believe the tales they've long heard are true. Number 9. Lost Dutchman's Gold Mine, Superstition Mountains, Arizona. This mysterious gold mine is believed to be located in, get this, the Superstition Mountains. The mine is named after Jacob Waltz, who claimed to have found it in the late 19th century. Jacob Waltz was a student of mining, and he knew what he was doing. The old timers were very, very astute to the fact of geology. They knew what they were looking for. If you're going to go out in these mountains anywhere and look for gold, you really want to go to places where gold has been found. Waltz apparently carried the exact location to his deathbed, where he described it to his neighbor, Julia Thomas. Since Waltz's passing, Thomas and countless others have tried to find the fabled mine. The history of it is just amazing, uh, the amount of people that it's drawn to it and uh, people that have explored it and looked for gold and just enjoyed the beauty of it. In 1931, Adolf Ruth disappeared while searching for the treasure. His remains were eventually found. There were two bullet holes in his skull and a note in his checkbook where he claims to have found the mine. Despite his unfortunate end, Ruth's passing only fed into the lore of the treasure, and several other adventurers have since passed away while searching for it. He left behind mysterious clues and maps as to the location of the mine, but no one has been able to prove its existence or location. Number 8. Lost Union Gold, Elk County, Pennsylvania. A major digging effort happened along Dense Run Road in Driftwood, and after years of silence, we've now learned, according to those documents, the prize officials were looking for was an extremely valuable catch of Civil War era gold. The gold must be legit if the FBI gets involved. This treasure's origins date back to the American Civil War. In 1863, a special Union detachment was transporting more than a thousand pounds of gold to the United States Mint. But the gold never made it to Philadelphia. Somewhere near Dense Run, the detachment was ambushed. The bars of gold were subsequently lost and buried nearby. Rumors of the lost loot have circulated for decades, even drawing the eye of the modern United States government. In 2018, the FBI spent several days digging for the lost treasure in Elk County, but they came up empty-handed. Just because they, they went there and didn't find anything doesn't necessarily mean that it's not there. The legendary treasure still unfound. Or so they say. Number 7. Dutch Schultz's Hidden Treasure, Catskill Mountains, New York. The Catskills are full of gorgeous natural treasures, but legend says they are also home to a fortune worth millions. The notorious mobster and bootlegger Dutch Schultz passed away in 1935, but his story did not end there. After his passing, rumors swirled about the location of his gold coins, diamonds, war bonds, and money. Dutch Schultz, 
had the only key. Schultz's lawyer claimed all or most of the loot was in a lockbox, which would make for a nice payday if it were ever to be located. The enormous treasure has never been found, but explorers have traversed the Catskills for decades trying to solve the mystery. Number 6. The Lost Treasure of Little Bighorn Bighorn River, Wyoming The Battle of Little Bighorn is one of the most famous battles to take place on American soil, but somehow the story of a lost treasure worth millions has slipped somewhat under the radar. The story goes that steamboat captain Grant Marsh was on his way downriver with a heavy haul of gold to resupply General Custer's army. After learning of Custer's defeat, Marsh picked up wounded soldiers and sailed off to get them medical attention. In order to lighten the load and travel faster, Marsh buried the gold along the banks of the Bighorn River. Marsh returns to retrieve the gold, but he never found it. Treasure hunters have carried on the search for decades. Number 5. Dillinger's Suitcase Manitowish Waters, Wisconsin To many of the 1,500 newsmen, dignitaries, and ordinary citizens permitted to view the caged outlaw, he also has become a real-life matinee idol of crime. John Dillinger was a notorious outlaw who rose to infamy during a crime spree through the Midwest in the 1930s. Federal agents received a tip that Dillinger was at the remote Little Bohemia Lodge in Wisconsin, so they followed him there. A deadly shootout ensued, and in the confusion, Dillinger escaped with a suitcase filled with $200,000. He allegedly buried the luggage loot somewhere in the woods near the lodge. Dillinger passed away during another shootout with federal agents a few months later, taking the location of his treasure to his grave. Number 4. Black Sam Bellamy's Treasure Machiasport, Maine Samuel Bellamy, or Black Sam, was a generous and well-dressed pirate who lived in the 1700s. During his career, Bellamy ransacked dozens of ships in the Caribbean, accumulating a massive fortune that he split with his crew. Although Bellamy roved all along the east coast of the Americas, he and his men used the mouth of the Machias River in modern-day Maine as a hideout and supposedly stashed loot there. In 1717, Bellamy met his end during a treacherous storm off the coast of Cape Cod, as did the vast majority of his crew. Their possessions, weapons, and millions in looted treasure scatter across the ocean floor. However, his ship, part of his treasure, and human remains were discovered in 1982. Explorers have since searched both the shipwreck and the Machias River for the rest of his massive fortune. It's America's version of King Tut's tomb. Number 3. Blackbeard's Treasure Trove Atlantic Coast. We go from one notorious pirate to another. Blackbeard is probably the most famous pirate in history, and there's good reason for it. He was the most strategic thinking of all of these Golden Age pirates from this time period. Blackbeard and Bellamy crossed paths, but the ultimate location of Blackbeard's treasure is even less certain. Blackbeard plundered his way around the Caribbean, accumulating a massive collection of gold, silver, and other treasures worth millions. The pirate was notably secretive in regards to his riches, and he never disclosed any hints as to where they were buried. Blackbeard met his end in 1718 on Ocracoke Island in modern-day North Carolina and took the location of his treasure to his grave. Blackbeard would travel up and down the Atlantic coast so his treasure could be buried almost anywhere, but many believe it's located where the pirate took his last breath. Number 2. The B.L. Cipher's Treasure Vault, Bedford County, Virginia This legendary treasure hunt started in 1885 when a pamphlet titled The B.L. Papers was published. According to the pamphlet, a man named Thomas B.L. and his group of adventurers buried a massive treasure consisting of gold, silver, and jewels in Bedford County. The quantity of treasure is enormous. 2,900 pounds of gold, 5,100 pounds of silver, and $13,000 worth of jewels. He entrusted ciphertexts containing the vault's location, contents, and owners to an innkeeper named Robert Morris before disappearing. After Morris's passing, the Bial papers were released containing the three ciphers, one of which has been decoded using the Declaration of Independence as a key. Of course, this cipher is the one that simply describes the contents of the multi-million dollar treasure. Some cryptanalysts believe the last two ciphers are fake, but that has not deterred treasure hunters from trying to unscramble them. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ted Binion's Buried Silver in Pahrumpf, Nevada his Nevada ranch supposedly has silver worth millions buried on its grounds. It's a 20-year-old rumor that many locals are familiar with, that there's precious metal buried on Ted Binion's old ranch here. Employees and neighbors saying they're constantly chasing people off, coming in armed with metal detectors and shovels, hoping to find Binion's jackpot. Beeswax Shipwreck, Oregon. 
A Spanish ship sunk off the Oregon coast, possibly leaving behind gold and other treasures. The hull is likely stuck in the sand in 20 feet of water a few hundred yards off the Manzanita Beach. And it would have stuck fast, and the waves would have started pounding on it. The Old Treasure Cave, the Ozarks of Arkansas. This cave is believed to hold riches buried by Spanish conquistadors in its depths. There's still so much of the cave to explore, and you can do some exploring yourself by taking a guided tour of the cave at 15 bucks for adults, 750 for kids. Fabergé eggs made for the imperial family. Several eggs are unaccounted for and might be scattered around the U.S. They had very personal, very special surprises in them. They had jewels, family pictures, mechanical toys, and they were exquisite art forms that had a very special meaning. Missing gold and silver, Georgia. A large part of the Confederate treasury gold went missing and has yet to be recovered. I think there was a lot of soldiers on both sides that really wanted that gold. And I think what we're seeing is evidence of how badly they wanted it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Mosby's $6 million treasure, Fairfax County, Virginia. During the American Civil War, John Mosby was the leader of a guerrilla unit of the Confederate Army called Mosby's Rangers. In 1863, Mosby's Rangers raided the Fairfax County Courthouse and abducted Union General Edwin Stoughton and over 30 others. During the raid, Mosby dug through Stoughton's belongings and found valuable gold, silver, jewelry, and other heirlooms that Stoughton had looted from local homes. Mosby's Rangers took Stoughton, several Union soldiers, and the treasure. During their journey, Mosby and his men buried the treasure between two pine trees with a good old-fashioned X marks the spot. There are different stories about why Mosby never returned for the alleged $6 million in riches, but it's still believed to be buried in Virginia to this day. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.